So yes, uh, if you wanted to create um, local development, you can just download for Windows and you can install by yourself. Um, it's very easy. Just install and you can run the this command. So, but this in this tutorial, I would like to show you how to deploy to fly.io. And here is I have I have a document that I create and basically I took this um, tutorial from from the original source in the pocket based discussion uh, but i have create um i think i have changed some of some of it um just for the sake of my case before so yeah let's do it uh the first thing we need to download the linux installer and you can see here i will download and let's wait until finish and we can open okay let's extract okay cool so the next thing here we will create a pocket based docker file so the next thing here i wanted to show you to create um new docker file docker file make sure it doesn't have any extension and then we can edit this with notepad or even visual studio code and we can start to copy this copy and then we paste here and make sure all the all the version is good and we can see it's seven seven zero seven seven and yeah let's let's save okay let's save the code file and then after that we can go to um installing the fly ctl it's, it's kind of cli that fly fly that i will have and you can see if you if you have a windows you can go to powershell cell and then run as administrator and then just copy paste this one um, copy paste and it's it's running the installer okay let's wait until it's finished and make sure you have fly.io account and you can see here if you don't have one you can just run a fly ctl out um, sign up um, since i have the the account i just need to use the login one fly ctl out login i will sign in as my email and then um, it's good it's successfully logged in as my email and my account and then we can go to launch so first thing um we need to say here fly ctl launch okay uh, but before that we need to go inside the inside this that and then we can say fly ctl launch okay so what is the app name so in this in this in this case let's say um youtube sas tutorial app okay and then the region you can see there is a lot of region but since i'm in indonesia and i'm thinking that my customer would be in indonesia i will use the the closest one which is a singapore so i will choose the singapore and then you can see uh, it's error because i have um i have um the the case that it should be on lower case so i will try one more so youtube tutorial, tutorial app okay say i'll choose singapore and would you like to set up the postgres no and would you like to deploy no um just uh just make it ready 
for the launch and after that we can try to create this one fly ctl volumes volumes create pocket base data just the size it's in in gigabyte and then does does region which is scene so if if you have using um scene just put scene there but if you use another another um, region just use uh, the region okay so we'll create okay let's see when it's finished we will have a a new file called fly.tuml and then we can see here and yeah if we open this with like um visual studio code we can see um there is lots of lines that we need to copy this we need to copy this inside the and paste inside here let's say it's it's below the environment here and we can start to check if it's good all good make sure it's you just you just need to copy this okay and then we save close again and then um let's see again the version i think we have the good version mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay i think it's the new one that you can you don't have any version there this is just optional okay um just close and let's start to deploy here and fly ctl deploy okay and let's wait until it's finished yeah okay cool so you can see here um it has been built and we can see here we can we can see here and let's go to our fly.ctl and go to the dashboard and you can see the new new to, new app was deployed okay the app was deployed so we already have the host name and we can start to go there and of course it's error it's not because an error but it's because we it's it's the default one so to go to the admin panel we just need to go to like this and then we can start to uh, basically um set up the admin one so i will use my email profound.me and i will just use um password generator okay let's say it's password generator i need to copy this okay cool so yeah i will save this and create and login 